Hey guys, I'm Prodder Chief Marisoft Team Kilo23. Welcome back. Today we're doing another one of the uh, quick backyard review video deals. Today I've got my Echo One MP5 SOB1. Even though it doesn't have the uh, long monolithic top rail on here, this is still the uh, SOB1 version. I've got the uh, long top rail sitting on my shelf in there. Um, my buddy Jeremy gave me his old Simon MP5. I did some painting and some. Uh, tossing around of parts and I just I like the uh, streamlined look of just the standard mp5 and so that's where it's at right now uh, I'll go ahead and start off with the externals of the gun going to the internals uh, stock and buffer tube on here are both G&G &G. I didn't like the echo one stock because it doesn't have the two caps right here and the battery kept sliding in and out so it's really annoying uh, I found one of these a buddy had it I gave him a fair price for it and so I got the stock I already had the buffer tube um, aside from that NC Star 1x45 dot sight. Uh, it's pretty dead on. I can hit a guy just about every shot at 100 feet with point twos, which is exactly what this gun is meant for, pretty much. Close quarters. Uh, G and G MP5 mount. I got it off another G and G MP5 I have. Magpul PTS angled foregrip. This is not the version two. It's still got the sides on here. Uh, deep fire. It's a 250 millimeter uh, suppressor. It's got foam inserts in it believe it or not so you just you buy these they already have the foam in them you take the metal insert out and they're foam filled and they're super duper quiet and they've got negative and positive threads and it's also got a new cap you can put on here which is threadless that's kind of cool uh, i think that's all the externals of course it's got the rail system with, that came with the gun internally i've got uh some 16 gauge wire in here not the greatest stuff but uh, it's really inexpensive and it works well Wired Deans, uh, Lonix A1 motor. Uh, it's like the torque and speed mix. So this gun shoots like 23, 24 rounds a second on a 9.6, 2300 mod. It's pretty fast. I really like it. Uh, AS Tactical Gear Set, of course. It's already got the uh, Echo One 7mm bearings in there. It's all I've run in here for quite a while, and I haven't had a problem with the gun at all. Uh, what else we got in here? The gun already came with a version 3 bearing spring guide. Uh, this Gearbox, for some reason, takes a version 3 spring guide instead of a version 2, which, oh well, whatever. Uh, let's see. GNP white pistons with cheese. It's got five steel teeth, or, uh, yeah, five steel teeth, I believe. It's one of the newer ones. Uh, Systema Area 1000 piston head. It's got been super glued onto the front, so it's not going anywhere. I am not a huge fan of those because they are all plastic. They don't have the little metal... Um, nut that the screw goes into that's all plastic and you just end up having to super glue it or loctite it and it's kind of a pain but it's extremely lightweight gets a good air seal and i'm happy with it uh area 1000 cylinder head it's ported for a version i oh, was it a type 2 port i think so it's intended for like an m4 length 360 mil barrel or so uh let's see what else we got in here uh, i think that's it for the gearbox everything else is stock uh, the barrel is a Systema 6.04 mil brass M4 length that goes to about here or so, about halfway through the suppressor. And this gun is extremely quiet, really fast. Uh, the bucking is stock. I think everything else is stock in it. Um, these Echo 1 MP5s are super nice out of the box. Just even some basic tuning without upgrades, and these things shoot really, really nice. Oh yeah, I've got a uh, KWA stock spring in it. It's kind of an older stock KWA spring. It's a little worn down, so it's only shooting like 330, 340, which is fine for indoor fields here in Washington. Um, of course, go look in the description. There's some gameplay footage, and uh, you can hear Brooks screaming, oh my god, blah, 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 if, uh, if I decide to put a link to that. Otherwise, you guys can go find the video yourselves. Pretty dang funny. But this is a super, super fun gun. Really good weight, really balanced, and... When you got 16 mags for a gun, it's pretty fun to just run and run and run and shoot like crazy. Hopefully you guys won't have to uh, be on the field and be downrange for this gun, because it's kind of scary and it's pretty quiet and you don't know where it's shooting from. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm Prodigy from Airsoft Team Kilo23. I'm going to keep posting these uh, quick backyard reviews, and maybe I'll pick a day when the uh, police shooting range is in, in action. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Take it easy.